In today's class, we will learn about variable declaration and variable assignment, two very important subjects for everyone who wants to learn more deeply how to use the Pine Editor. But what is a variable? In programming, in a simple way, the variable is a word that you will create at the beginning of your code so that it can be used to store important values for your strategy. For example, we can create a variable called my closing price and use it to store the closing price of the stock. This variable will be called by the name you enter and we will store what you want. Just as we use boxes to store objects, so we use variables to store values that are important for the strategy we are creating. Whenever we are going to declare a variable, we need to say what its type is, that is, what it will store. There are three main types. Int, use it to store whole numbers. Float, use it to store numbers with decimal place. And bool. Use it to store the word true or the word false. The following is an example of how to declare a variable in order to use it to store integers. First, you write the word var. This causes it to be declared only once. Then, write the type of your variable. Then, write the name. And finally, put the equal sign and write the word not. This is just one of the ways that the Pine Editor offers us to declare variables. Now, see an example of how to declare a variable in order to use it to store numbers with decimal place. First, you write the word var. This causes it to be declared only once. Then, write the type of your variable. Then, write the name. And finally, put the equal sign and write the word not. Now that we have our variables created, we need to learn how to work with them in the code. So it is important that you learn the concept of variable assignment. Every time you want to use the variable you created at the beginning of the code to store some value, we need to use a special symbol that has the functionality to make your variable store the value you requested. For example, suppose we want to store the number 7 inside a variable that we created. To do this, we will first write the name of the variable, place the attribution symbol, and say which number we want to store in the variable, which in this case is number 7. It is important to say that the number must be compatible with the type you have defined for your variable. Now let's suppose that we want to store the number 7.77 inside a variable that we created. To do this, we will first write the name of the variable, place the attribution symbol, and say which number we want to store in the variable which, in this case, is the number 7.77. It is important to say that the number must be compatible with the type you have defined for your variable. To conclude this lesson, we will print these two values on the chart. We do this using the plot function. That done. Now let's click on this button and see how it looks. Our two variables were successfully plotted. I hope you understand how to declare variables and how to use them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks and see you in the next video.